Hey everybody, it's Mumbai Doug. I invite you to sit back, grab a piping hot cup of coffee, Folgers French Roast, and prepare for our fireside chat. So, it was a beautiful fall day, and as you know, I was on vacation yesterday, and one of the things that I had hoped to do on vacation was start painting the shed, because even though it only took me seven months to put it together, it still needs to be painted. So, and I want to do that before winter comes and it gets too cold and I lose my motivation. But I thought that would be a fun project for me and Kaya to do. So Darla had some errands to run today and me and Kaya went out and started painting the shed. I got Kaya this special little miniature, not really miniature, but you know how the paint rollers come in like the big ones and then like smaller ones for small areas? Well, I got her like a small paint tray and a small brush and a small roller and um, we put her in some old clothes and we just had a really a fun time painting the shed. It's about halfway done. So then I told Kaya that I remembered being in first grade like she is. And believe it or not, I remember this would have been 30 years ago because I'm 36. I remember an art project for the fall that we did at school and I thought I wonder if I can remember it enough so that we could do it, me and Kaya. And so while we were painting, I told her after we were done painting, we would gather up some various colored leaves and we were going to come in and do an art project. So we did. Let me show you what it is and I'll tell you how we did it. Okay. And you were not going to really be able to see it um, as well as if you were here. But basically here it is. She picked out some various colored leaves. Let's see if you can see them. Some dark, some dying, some yellow, some red. Beth, you would probably appreciate this since I know your leaves don't change color there. And then we took um, shavings of colors that we thought represented the fall season. And we laid out the leaves and we put the sprinkles of crayons out. Um, shaved the crayons, sprinkled them all over. Then laid another piece of wax paper on top. Covered it with a paper towel and then ironed it. And then it kind of melts it all together into this cool little thing. So that was our art project today. Um, I couldn't believe that I actually remember doing that project in first grade. I've never done it since. I may never do it again. But now that um, I've shown Kaya this little thing, she may show her kids one day. So, yeah, that was fun. Fun little project. Oh, here's the other thing I want to bring up. And I might have to do a whole separate video on this, since this is more of a vlog. Um, Darla is always harassing me about, well, about various things. She's always harassing me about the clothes that I buy. Now, when I dress Monday through Friday for work, I'm in a corporate environment, I do a good bit of uh, public speaking at work and so forth, so I dress very much business, business, business casual. Uh, we don't wear ties at our office, but I do dress, you know, dress slacks, button down shirt, that kind of thing. But when I'm not at work, I have a tendency to buy clothes that Darla seems to think are too young for me. So I might have to show you some of the outfits that I wear on a, on a typical weekend. I don't think I do dress too young. I'm just going to say that right, right off the bat. She's always accusing me of trying to look like a 21 year old. And my response to that is I can't help that I have a size 30 waist and, um, and average height average to below average height. I can't help it that I can shop in the stores that sell clothes that fit me, even though they're made for 21 year olds. Don't hate the player, hate the game. And here's the other thing. Do you know that there are a lot of stores that don't sell anything that has a size waist less than 32? Why well, wear a size 30 waist? I'm getting close to needing a 31, but the point is, I wear a waist size that's smaller than average apparently for men, and uh, it, it, it happens that this, the stores that sell my size, I like the clothes. So I like that Aeropostale store. That's my favorite. I'm not even sure if that's how you say it, but they have really good deals. It's not too expensive. Oh, and Old Navy. I like Old Navy clothes, and so most of what you see me wearing are from one of those two stores if it's on the weekend. Sorry. I'm going to have to do a little fashion show of uh, some of the outfits that I have and that I don't think are too young for me. So, and I'll let you all be the judge. Oh, and finally, I now have four entries for my contest. Woohoo! So now it's getting fun. Now I have four entries. 
Oh, and I noticed some people have been saying they haven't been able to upload. I had that problem too. In fact, I made a whole video response to Jim, Country Comes to Town. I never did get it uploaded. It was about whether or not he should have political discussion on his channel. I made a whole video response to that that I could not get uploaded because I was getting that same error 500 or failure 500 or death to the computer 500 or whatever it was. Here's Kaya's other art project. Apparently this is Mommy and this is Kaya. Kaya looks like a raving lunatic and Mommy looks happy. What are you doing to me, Mommy? Nothing, Kaya. Why do you think I'm doing something to you? Because you look all happy. Well, you look all mad. Well, you look extraordinarily happy and your hair is purple because that's your favorite color. Well, your hair is blonde. That's because my hair is blonde. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, this is my part of the video that I don't know how to end it, so help me out, people. Got four entries. Send me more. Peace out, West Side. Well, hey everybody, it's Mumbai Doug. I invite you to. Bleh. Um, it was about the whether or not he should have politic. Uh, po uh, That's the places you choose to shop. I'm gonna cut all that out.